Hey there, Clint from JBall Electronics. Today we're going to look at how to print from Texa. We're connected to a Cummins CM2250 on the bench, so let's use a, my favorite Freightliner with a Cummins and let's get into the diagnosis. I'm going to go into diesel injection, get connected up to a CM2250 we currently have on the bench. Agree to the terms because we haven't activated the tool since our last update. Choose our unit of measurement and in we go. So we're just waiting for Texa to come up. It's going to prompt us here to make sure the ignition's on so that our ECMs are powered. There we go. Confirm the ignition's on. And now Texas just telling us that for this particular ECM, some statuses and parameters aren't possible to be set because that's just the way it is with the ECM. Here we see a bunch of codes. We have lots of codes because we just have the ECM on the bench, not connected to any sensors. So a new in the latest version of Texas truck is the option of including freeze frame data. This puts a lot more information in your printout, whether you need it or not. Freeze frame is when your uh, code is generated as a whole bunch of other parameter information gathered at that same time. And this can be anywhere from a few parameters to hundreds of parameters. So you can appreciate how this can add to the size of your printout. So for this particular case, we've unchecked it and we're going to click the green check mark button to create our PDF file. Now this particular one already took a fair amount of time because as you can see, we've got six, how many, five codes on the screen and then the scroll bar goes a long way down. So we're just going to fast forward through this to when we actually can see the PDF or the print output options. And new thing is Texas is asking us for the VIN, even though it knows it, and you'll see that later on in the printout. Here we are, we've got our printout, and we're going to choose the print PDF option that's new in the latest versions of Texa. Give the file name and select the location where you can find it. Right now it's in the Texa folders, which aren't terribly easy to get at, so I recommend somewhere like the desktop, downloads, or documents folders but wherever you like to see it. Here we're just going to double check and see what information it printed out and choosing Microsoft Edge to display the PDF file. And so we can see if we scroll down that the truck VIN actually is in there. You see it 1 XP and here's a list of the codes. So there you go in the latest version of Texa truck that's how you print to PDF file. Now if you don't have a, a PDF generator or PDF writer, Windows 7, for example, you can download something like PDF Creator. If you search the internet for that, you'll find it. Uh, here we're just showing that no matter what screen you're on, if you see the print icon, you can get text to output data from that screen. Uh, some people take screenshots, but they're finding that that isn't satisfactory or the quality isn't there. So here we are just creating a PDF. And notice how this put it in the Texa folder. Again, pretty hard to find. So what we're going to do here is just take a look at the PDF we've created. See the details from the ECM. Close this file. And to make it easier to find, we're just going to drag this from where it is onto your desktop. So just drag, drop, boom. Now look on the desktop. We have the file we just created and the fault codes that we created a little while ago. So there you go. That's a quick look at how to do PDFs in Texa. And again, people with Windows 7, you're going to have to download some sort of a PDF creator or print to XPS, which is its own file type and isn't easily transferable to other people. So search for PDF creator. We'll put a link in the description of the video. That's a good one that we found that uh, doesn't prompt you to buy it all the time and creates PDFs on the fly. Uh, just look in your print dialog box instead of printing to your printer, select PDF Creator, and away you go. If you have any other questions about Texa, printing to Texa, diagnosis, anything like that, don't hesitate. Give us a call at JBall Electronics, 1-855-326-8863. That again, 1-855-326-8863. We're here from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Happy to help you out. Give us a call.